What's up guys, Morphtronics. Uh, a long time ago when these guys first came out, uh, I pretty much just built this level 7 synchro spam deck. Uh, and I topped locals for like 5 or 6 weeks straight with it. And that's when I ended up building Light Hero Beat, which was the n November prior to Shining's release in March. Uh, and I pretty much stuck with that all the way through. I mean, you guys know Hero is what I do. Um, but, you know, Morphtronic just sort of has that little special place. And the deck is capable now of so much more than it was back then. Um, I've been playing it the last couple days. Um, I've lost a total of one game. Um, which was because my opponent actually was able to Quasar me before I could Quasar him. Uh, which is pretty awesome. Um, you know, that, that was a loss worth having. But uh, I've been having some issues with the deck. Uh, the extra deck is ridiculously tight. Uh, there's quite a few cuts there that I didn't want to have to make. But, you know, you're stuck with 15, so what can you do? Um... I had some people asking about it as I was just vaguely discussing, uh, you know, Quasar Morphtronics and, you know, needing, you know, a deck that actually needs more than 15 extra deck cards. Um, so I told them I'd profile it, so that's what I'm going to do so I can upload it and post that up for them. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Start off the deck, Triple Self on. It's pretty much our win condition. Um, Morphtronic is, to a degree, a luck based deck. I mean, Self on will win you the game with the right dice roll and a little bit of luck. Um, but more times than not, especially with this particular build, you know, if Self on hits one Morphtronic, it'll let you explode. Um, but also, Self on is just there because it can allow you to make more plays than you already could. Um, so even though Self on's effect in and of itself is luck based, uh, Self on's effect allows you to win more. Um, you know, sure, there is plenty of times where you're like, I really need to hit a scoping on this roll. And whether you roll a six or you roll a one, if somewhere in there you hit that scope and you're able to just be like, boom, Quasar. So, self on, uh, it's just awesome. Uh, Double Lantron, he's our level one tuner that allows us access to formula, um, extra level fives, and pretty much thus Quasar. Um, triple Remotin. Uh, also, tuner. This deck does run nine tuners, uh, eight Morphtronics, and then the Effect Veiler. Um, I say the Effect Veiler because I actually did make a Quasar play off Effect Veiler once. But, anyways, Remotant is really, really versatile. Depending on his uh, battle position, you can either banish from grave to search deck for the same level, or ditch from hand to add from grave the same level, which will allow, allow you to get back extra Remotants, uh, pitch Lantrons to get self ons. Um, you know, search scope ins, get slingins back. Um, it's just really, really, really combo crazy um, because of how versatile Remotin can be. Um, triple scope in, he's very versatile in the fact that he's level 3 or level 4, uh, depending on battle position for, you know, synchro or exceed plays. Um, and if they don't have the Veiler, scope in just instantly nets nuke or, uh, or a beret. Um, so just that ability to instant sync seven is awesome with scoping. Uh, double boomboxing. I like boomboxing for a couple of reasons. Um, just the first thing about him, the deck needs level fours to work with scoping, and slinging's not enough. Um, and having three slingings clogs a bit. So you need to have uh, diversity in your level fours. Two and two works awesome. Um, boomboxing is just the filler level four. Um, but the ability to swing for 2,400 damage but 1,200 at a time uh, puts you in a position where you're not really scared uh, of Gores as much because you're not going to give him a big token if they drop it. Um, as well as if he's in defense uh, and they're in a position of only being able to, you know, attack with a BLS or, or an alias or whatever one monster they have if they're not able to expand. Um, can really put you in a stall position uh, that allows you to draw into a piece that's going to net you a big synchro play or even Quasar. So Boombox is pretty awesome. Um, but the main level 4 is Morphtronic Scrap Dragon, uh, which is pretty much what Slingin' is. You just put him in attack mode and pop Morphtronics to blow cards up. Face up, face down, it really doesn't matter. Um, there's no, you know, resolving without effect if it's face down and they flip it face up or whatever. Slingin' just picks something and it dies, uh, which is really awesome for getting rid of back row, getting rid of pesky monsters, um, as well as with all the reborns that this deck is able to play. Uh, you can bring back stuff that he pops off anyways to, to continue making plays. So Slingin's awesome. And then finally, one Borden. Uh, rarely, but it does happen, there is a swarm OTK potential uh, with boomboxins and such in Borden. Um, but 
mostly Borden is just there for uh, accessibility with uh, remote and that way you can search into more scope ins or more remote ins um, or whatnot. So just because he's level three, he works with with that little uh, with that engine. Onto our hand traps, double max C because we hate wind ups like mad. Um, if they need to be sighted out versus heroes or whatever they can be, who cares? Um, but you really want them there for game one. One Veiler, uh, I kind of want more Veilers in the main, probably 2-2, two, two, but uh, as it stands, I don't have room for it with the way that I'm running the deck. Um, unless I played it at 41, but I don't want to do that either. So one Veiler, Veiler's awesome. Um, double Trag, pretty much the only reason that Trag found place over that extra Veiler um, and, you know, maybe some other tech card is because in game one versus windups, Max C needs to hit a drag so you don't lose um, if they set up before we do. Uh, secondary, if drag gets dropped, you have level manipulation, which really works well with your synchro plays. Um, so drag's just awesome, and gores because gores is awesome. Uh, Undo spells, triple machine dupe. Uh, you can machine dupe cell phones, lantrons, and remotens. Uh, all in and of themselves can pretty much be win conditions. Machine dupe cell phone, and you just plus like mad. Um, Machine Dupe Remotin, you search out a bunch of pieces, end up with an Exceed play, plus another Synchro play. Um, it's awesome. Or Lantron, just to get that extra level 1 tuner on the field. Uh, so Machine Dupe, once you have one Lantron on the field, it's kind of like a second one for one. Uh, triple Junk Boxes are one turn Monster Reborn. Reborn, Mind Control, Dark Hole, one for one in and of itself. Uh, we do have the five targets for it. So, well, six if you include Effect Veiler, which is pretty awesome. Um, and Pot of Avarice. We'll put back things for you to search. We'll put back your max C's, your Veilers, your Trag, your Gores. Um, or, you know, if they warning your Cataster when you're trying to go into Quasar, you can always Avarice it back so that you can Synchro again um, to get that Quasar on the field anyway. So Avarice is absolutely staple in this deck. Uh, the last seven cards is back row hate. It seems overkill, but it's absolutely needed. Um, MSTs to pop off, you know, heavy. You just don't want to run into Starlight. Uh, but trap stun is really the MVP here. Um, you know, beginning of your turn, trap stun, regardless of their back row, unless it's like a book of moon, you go nuts. Um, so that's pretty awesome. Um, side decking in this deck is kind of weird. Um, everything that's in the deck pretty much has to be there. You can side out of maxis or veilers versus like heroes. Um, if you're not playing windups, you can side out of trags. Um, depending on their back row level, you can side out of like the trap stuns or an MST and some trap stuns, whatever. Um, and if absolutely need be, um, sometimes you can side out of like one machine dupe. Uh, but we have the third max C and the second and third Veilers to hate on those windups. Um, the other two decks that I hate a ton with this matchup uh, is Heroes and Samurai. Um, Heroes, just because they can just, they, they normal summon big beaters, they have Honest. Um, they have Shining, which is typically 3,200, um, which can be problematic for anything aside from Quasar. Um, and they can honest that, too. Uh, against Samurai, they're going to just negate my key spells to bring back so I can make my plays, um, as well as that Swarm capability. So I am citing Triple Kinetic Soldier. Uh, also being a machine, uh, works pretty well with certain Synchro plays if I had to, or just the general theme of the deck. Um, but to combo with that, I'm citing Gear Gigant. This will be the only time you'll ever see a Gear Gigant in a side deck of any deck ever in existence. Um, that's simply because when I side into the Kinetics, um, I can help myself, you know, when I'm thinking about my play, I can go for a bunch of Synchros or whatnot, but what's really going to get over that Sheen or what's really going to, you know, get past Shining? Um, you know, I need to get into that Kinetic. Well, shit, how do I do that? Well, how about, you know, I summon scope in, go into boombox, junk box back a slingin, uh, use slingin's effect with scope in to blow something up, go into gear gigant, search out the kinetic. Um, you know, now I have a 4,000 or a 3,800 defense or a 3,350 attack, so I can get over shining, I can get over sheens, I can put in a lot of hurt on those matchups. Um, so, citing gear gigant for that particular reason. Um, one needle ceiling. For consistency, this card should probably be played in twos, but I hate triggering Starlights, um, so that's why I'm only playing one. Uh, double Dust Tornado for those massive back row decks. Um, 
you just want to be able to hate on that, as well as field spells, whether it's Gates of the Dark World, Necro Valley, um, uh, Dragon Ravine. There were some Dragon Entities at top lately. You just want to have that field spell hate, which is also why Close Forest is there. Um, and it's also a good setup for, you know, when they see the trap stuns game one, they're going to think, well, you know what, I can just miss it so that they don't have trap stun and then set all my stuff and be good for next turn. But it's Dust Tornado instead. So you chain the Dust Tornado to, you know, blow up a back row that they set uh, in the end phase and then set your trap stun, draw, activate your trap stun, go nuts. Um, and then for things like GBs or heroes or uh, a stun matchup with Thunder Kings, just stuff like that, Double D Prison and Double Compulse uh, also works really well versus the Gear Game matchup, uh, whether it's Car Curry uh, or the Machina variants. Um, D Prison and Compulse put in a lot of work in those matchups. Uh, as for the extra deck, it's really, really compact. Um, this deck has the potential to need uh, a third level 5, uh, up to 4 level 7s. Um, I've typically used um, way, way back in the day when I first ever played Morphtronics, uh, which was right when they first came out. Um, I had a build that uh, I topped consistently for like a month and a half with, um, and that's when I ended up dropping it to build Light Hero Beat. Uh, you know, five months later, we get E-Hero Shining, Miracle Fusion becomes a thing. My channel exists. I'm the hero guy. Um, but that particular build, I would go through, I think I had six level seven synchros, um, that I would abuse with scoping and level fours, but uh, thanks to exceeds, there are better plays the deck can make. Um, but to make room for everything, you really have to consolidate the extra. Um, one formula, one armory arm. Funny thing about armory arm: over half the time I go into quasar, I also go into armory arm the same turn, um, and my field is nothing but quasar armory arm at that point. But uh, it's just overkill. It's awesome. Librarian and Cataster just to get into. Uh, the Quasar. Uh, Black Rose and Beret are our level 7s. Uh, I really like how Scopin can just turn into a field nuke if you have to make it so. Um, but otherwise, you just go into Beret. Um, you can use his effect to, you know, change Morphtronic positions to get different effects if you had to. Uh, but typically, you're just messing with their field before you run them all over. Stardust, Scrap Dragon, Staple... Uh, Shooting Star, I've only ever had the possibility of making Shooting Star once, and instead I saved my formula uh, in case I needed a Black Rose on their turn, and I ended up Quasaring the next turn instead. Um, so that was that was pretty awesome. But Shooting Star is mainly just there in case you get that turn 1 or turn 2 Quasar, and they're able to bait the negation and get rid of it. You still end up with Shooting Star in the field. As well as late game, uh, Avarice can put back a bunch of tuners into a very small deck count and then Shooting Star into an OTK, so that's kind of awesome. Uh, as for Exceeds, our rank 3s are pretty much always going to happen with double remoting uh, off of Machine Dupe. One remote, you know, you'll get two or three searches depending on the positions you bring them out in. Um, you'll make one Synchro play and then one Exceed play with those remotins. Uh, Zen Mains is there for defense. Uh, Levy Air allows you to bring back whatever you've removed off of those remote and searches you did first, which can really bring back cell phones or scopins to make key plays and just go absolutely nuts. Uh, and Leviathan's there for the beat stick. Um, we don't rank four very often. Uh, like I said, the gear gig is sighted uh, because once I really want to get those kinetics, I can manipulate my plays to assure that I'm making rank four plays. Um, but as the deck runs, normally you're not going to make rank fours. Uh, but just in case, Mace Stroke's there because he's defense, um, which can buy you time to draw into combo pieces. And finally, Shockmaster because Shock Lock is awesome. Um, we have you know our four level fours with four Monster Reborns as well as Mind Control, um, or seven level fours if you count Scoping and defense. Um, so we can get the level fours to the board. Um, and in that case, you know if you can play Shockmaster, play Shockmaster. So that's the deck. Let me know what you guys think. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace out.